was the very talented Megan Lee singing last year's top hit on the country music charts. Now let's hear her new hit and see if that has the potential to go to number one as well. Have you seen these? What? Audience figures or lack thereof. What's this? The audition for Radio 2 now. Megan Lee happens to be a rising country star. <laughs> oh, yeah, I don't doubt it. But that's not the problem. Music isn't the issue. You're the problem. We need someone who can light a fire under people and start controversy. Shake things up. You want me to shake things up? How exactly? I don't know. Get a, get a guest speaker or someone. Someone you can butt heads with, like a, like a matador and a, and a bull. A matador and a bull? And, and which one am I meant to be exactly? It doesn't matter, just... The, what matters is that your job's on the line. If you can't get those numbers up... Oh wait, weather. It's time for the weather. And although it's not sunny, it's going to be another hot one. Thanks, global warming. environmental conspiracy theories and what he's done to that poor Professor George Brightmore there's so much hatred in the world already he needs lynching save our planet 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 firing squad's too good for you you big bully save our planet did I drum up enough support? Save our planet! 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 Can we talk to you, Mrs. Skeptic? Ah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, I am becoming a victim of cancel culture and you can't silence me. What about free speech? And how would you describe your relationship with the professor? Well, we don't agree on much. People are saying you bully the professor. No, no, I mean, uh, Georgie and I have got an understanding. Some say that this man's in a coercive relationship. No, that, that, look, that's a load of nonsense, all right? I, I'm not going to say any more to man. You can stop taking bloody pictures, all right? Get lost. If you've just tuned in, welcome to my new later slot. Wind up the day with me, Sam Skeptic, and my <laughs> esteemed colleague here, Professor George Brightmore. So, Georgie, how do you feel about the new late time slot? Well, look, Sam, I have asked you on a number of occasions not to call me Georgie. Well, you call me Sam. Well, that's because you've specifically asked me to call you Sam, isn't it? I, I prefer Professor Brightmore, uh, and if you must use my first name, then you can, you can call me George, uh, not, not Georgie. Right, right, wh wh whatever you say, Georgie. Anyway, what have you got for us today, Georgie? <sighs> yes, all right then, Sam. Well, our, our first letter today is from Lisa and John, and they're from six form and they say how can you stand working why won't you sack him trying to eat we've started a petition who has everyone at six form <laughs> you're better off spending your time revising no and i'm warning you dad we all feel very strongly about how he treats professor george <laughs> the sam skeptic show continues to record-breaking local audiences it seems he's the dj the public loves to hate Here's Mr. John Friendly, the station manager, to tell us more. Professor Brian Moore and Sam have a quite different relationship off of the air, and uh, 
and they have an excellent understanding of one another. There's speculation that this move towards an indecent mudslinging show is proving profitable for you. I'm afraid I uh, ca ca can't comment on that. Now, from what I understand, Professor Georgie, I believe your number one fan, your only son, Michael, is getting married tomorrow. Is that true? Uh, yes, that is right, Sam. And you're going, are you? Uh, well, yes, I am, actually. And how are you getting there? It's in Italy. Well, actually, I'm, I'm, I'm due to fly out uh, after the show. A flight? You're flying? Well, now, in, in my defence, Sam, there's no defect. Oh, you're the one going on all the time about your carbon footprint. No, 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 no. Uh, what I'm going to do, uh, dear listeners, uh, to make sure that uh, the planet is saved is uh, I'm going to confiscate Georgie here's keys so that he cannot go. Even better than that, I am going to keep him here hostage at the radio station so he misses his flight. Oh, I beg you, don't, don't do that. It's my only son. He'll be absolutely devastated if I don't make his wedding. Well, you should have thought about that, Georgie, shouldn't you? Before you went jetting off round the world like Kim Kardashian. Anyway, that's all we've got time for. I, for one, this evening will be slapping on the sunscreen. It's another hot one coming up. Not because of global warming, but because it's July. <sighs> Where's George? Where have you hidden him? Where is he? What have you done with him? Give us George! George? That's me! George doesn't exist! I'm Professor George Brightmore and, and I'm here uh, to talk about the environment. I'll just do the voices, alright? It's just me doing the silly voices! Yeah, uh, alright, I'm a cockney DJ and the, 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 the it's the, 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 the guy with the scientist guy. Oh, I'm the, the scientist. Oh my god. I'm, I'm gonna. I'm gonna. Have a I'm gonna die with the plastic Hello? Come to the radio station quickly. George Skeptic or Sam Skeptic or Professor George something or other. I don't know. One of them's having a heart attack. After recovering from a suspected heart attack, which was in fact a severe panic attack, Sam Skeptic, who it turns out is also Professor George Brightmore, has just resigned from Do It FN here behind me. He's now concentrating on his social media hits with followers in the hundreds of thousands and rising. We at Cumbria TV will keep you posted on what the outrageous shot jock does next. Welcome to our 100th segment. Today we're going to be discussing pronouns with Professor George Brightmore. So, Georgie, what are yours? Now, firstly, Sam, can I ask you once again to refrain from calling me Georgie? I don't know how many times I've had to ask you that. Now, on the subject of pronouns, I don't mind really. I'm happy to go by them, they, as well as he, him. Well, I find that very interesting, Georgie. And on the subject of names, why don't you like to be called Georgie? Is it too girly for you? Not that happy to go by she, her, then. That's sexist, isn't it, surely? Oh, Sam. Oh. This godforsaken town ain't gonna tie me down Ain't gonna stick around and watch it burn These small town lights will just be by the by 